Hello guys, it is Tiva Spacer here back with you in another Pokemon X video. I currently don't have any idea why it's lagging, but it does seem to be. So let me fix this. At least attempt to. Okay guys, so uh, that problem has been fixed. Rookie's base speed stat went up. Nice. Here's the gym. Hey, a stranger. Isn't cruising around town on your roller skates the best thing ever? Hey, what do you mean to tell me that you don't? even own a pair of roller skates. Then how about this? If you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. I can never say no to a contest. Not me. So how about it? Do you want a battle? Obviously. I get ya. So you're going to go and train your Pokemon in Route 22 for a while, huh? Oh, I hit the wrong button. That's why. I should be on up. Whether it's Pokemon or roller skates, speed is important. Not always. Renka. Ooh, level 7. Let's switch to Froki though. I gotta stop doing that. Did it kill you? Level 10. Nice. Nice little. Lick. Sure. Um. 40. So they're the same, but quick attack happens faster. So. You get rid of pound. Ta da! Brokey forgot how to use pound, and Brokey learned lick. Hand Sage is level 8. You wrapped up the battle before I could reach my top speed. Wow, that was amazing. You might even be stronger than a gym leader. All right, here you go. One spliffy pair of roller skates, just as I promised. Listen up, I'll read you the instructions for your new pair of roller skates, okay? Our roller skates snap right onto your any shoes so you can glide your way around. All you need to do is move the circle pad to get the, those wheels going. That's all there is to it. So go on, it's your turn. Try gliding about like me. Yeah, it's very easy. These will escape are an attachment that can be snapped right onto any shoes, so you can have fun and look good. Uh. I really don't feel like facing a sky trainer right now. Okay, where is everyone else? I don't remember.
Um, okay. At some point, I normally get like hundreds of Pokeballs. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, lady. Oh uh, yeah, you told me that in the last episode. Here's everyone. They should be around here. Okay, they may be over here actually. Oh, you. You are, aren't you? What? You're one of those kids who got a Pokemon from Augustine Sycamore, right? That pan sage you've got there looks pretty happy. You must be a good trainer. In that case, get over to the Pokemon gym. I'm sure my sister will be glad to meet you. Also, I can't go that way yet. Ah, uh, that may be the way to the next town, actually. Which, that would make sense. Okay, so pretty sure I get my XP share soon. You know, because back in this time period, XP shares existed. Um, but yeah. Right of the rules. What's the hustle, little Crustle? Welcome to the Santa Luna City Gym. So future champ, this will be your first time challenging a gym, huh? Are you thrilled? Are you pumped? You should be, no worries here. You've got Pokemon on your side. And really, they're the ones who are going to be doing all the battling. Am I right or am I right? Right? <laughs> Jump on that pole there and you'll be on your way to where the gym leaders are waiting for you. Whoops, but wait. Before you go, I'm supposed to tell you something. Everybody in this Pokemon gym uses bug type Pokemon. Got it? Rookie's happy. Yeah, the mazes. Oh boy. Yeah, it's like a maze. All the gyms have like a maze like thing. Oop, no, I want to go this way. Here we go. We're gonna fight you. Hey, are you a challenger? Come show me your Pokemon. And Mr. David. that doesn't do too much. Ah, uh, you don't know fire type moves, do you? Well, that sucks. You must be slow, buddy. Some people who've never seen a Pokemon game in their life. Um, when your Pokemon is confused, they have a chance of hitting themselves. And sometimes them hitting themselves seems to do more damage than when they hit opposing Pokemon. So I really don't think it's worth it to keep them out and risk that. This later bug only seems to have like 
one or two moves that actually work. And that's them hitting themselves. I was gonna say, if Pantsuit doesn't level up... You could see all kinds of Pokemon by hanging out in a gym. Cool, buddy. You taught us what happens when you hang out in a gym. Such a such weak prey. You've been caught right up in my spider rib. You better have a spider bug type if you're gonna make jokes like that. Cool. Let me guess, your other one's a metapod. The two cocoon Pokemon. Really? I was gonna say, if that poisoned me, I would have been a little mad. Level 11. Combi? Are you only nine? I thought you were gonna be higher. Fair. My web wasn't strong enough to keep you. No. Nope. That determined expression, that glint in your eye, that says you're up to the challenge. It's fantastic. Just fantastic. Is this your first time challenging Jim? Fantastic! Whether it's the tears of frustration that follow a loss or the blossoming joy that comes with victory. They're both great subjects for my camera. Fantastic! This will be just fantastic. Now come at me. My lens is always focused on victory. I won't let anything ruin this shot. This is Boyla? Huh. Sir Skit. Not very effective. 
Oh, duh, because you're also a water type. Cool, so let's break out of that. Mimic. Pikachu won't be very useful. Level 4, I guess. Level 10? This will do too much, but we're gonna use it. Last one we want to use is pants here, and two would possibly get one shot. You know, a thunder move, right? You do. You do. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Sorry, Pikachu. Hoping you'd get to attack once, but guess not. I've no revives. Which is what you have to use to bring Pokemon back to, from fainted. Good thing I'm not using any fire types. Sage is level 9. Oh, Vivian. Vivellon. Yeah, I know who you are. Kind of. Yeah, that's who I thought you were. You'd be a good one to use um, fire moves against, I think. Right? Okay. Infestation? Oh. That's an annoying move. That will heal you to full health. You really like infesting people, don't you? you can't be. My last potion. Oh, 
Brokey maybe fainted, guys. Stop using that stupid move. We're switching. Infestation left, so I'm switching. Ah, uh, you do like nothing. You have the most health. This is going to be a close battle. Bit too close for comfort. Of course you land a crit. Why wouldn't you? Please note that this, um, Vivian star has increased defense. It's been increased like twice. The third one got nulled by the, uh, defense decrease that Vera does. Okay, which you all do for your power. I'll have to use quick attack and hope that's enough. Oh boy! your Pokemon have shown me a whole new death of field. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Ah, uh, that was too close for comfort. Young trainer, you... No, it wasn't you alone. You and your Froki have shown me a whole new death of field. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Yay! I received the Bug badge from Voila. With that bug badge, Pokemon up to level 30 will listen to your orders in battle. Yup, even if you get them from trades. And here, this TM commemorates your win against a pro photog like me. TM83 infestation. My least favorite bug type move, I guess. 
Using a TM like that one there lets you teach your Pokemon some new moves quicker than a shutter set to one over a thousand can snapshot. TMs are some of the best gear around. They're point and click, they're point and click easy. And you can use them over and over again. Now the TM I just gave you is for a move called Infestation. Use it and it will be impossible for your opponent to flee from battle. Now then, can you zoom in a bit to check out that tent behind me? Take the stairs that you find beyond it and you'll be back up to the entrance faster than a flash. Okay. So yeah, in this game, TMs and stuff can be reused. I think in the newer games they cannot. Oh, Butterfree, Metapod. Whoa, -ho -ho, would you look at that bug badge? Nice, very nice, future champ. I bet that scrampsy pants professor you gave, who gave you your first Pokemon, be amazed to see it. After you hope your Pokemon in the Pokemon Center, why don't you head up on up to the Pokemon Lab at the Wolf's City and show it to Emma? Ooh. Who is here waiting on me? No one, it seems. So it looks like in the next video we're gonna go see the professor, but obviously not in this one because I think I'm well over the 20 minute mark. Let's see. Yeah, almost the 30 minute mark. But uh, yeah guys, that'll be it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed, like video, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll discuss my next video whenever, whatever that one may be. Bye guys.